Most of us block or ignore unwanted calls on our cell phones, but a Greenfield woman did just the opposite. As consumer investigator Kristen Byrne explains, she wanted to show everybody just how relentless illegal telemarketers can be and how they prey on whoever picks up. Law enforcement agencies don't recommend engaging with robocallers, but Lori Lucky of Greenfield says she wanted to expose her conversation. No, no, Would no. I want to have a no, lawyer no, no. or what? No, right, right now, Miss Lori, we don't want to we don't want to involve any third party because because we don't want this ongoing investigation to be in danger. All right, because we, right now we don't trust anyone. That's part of a two-hour conversation Lori Lucky says she recently recorded. After she answered an unwanted call, she played along, got a live person on the line, and pretended to comply. And I had no idea how far it would go, um, so I just kept with it, and um, it was pretty surprising. The person on the other line claimed to be with the Social Security Administration and told Lucky she had a warrant out for her arrest. At one point, a spoof call came in from her local police department. Hi, this is Officer Hammes Marsha, and I'm calling you from Greenfield Police Department. How are you doing today? And we checked Lucky's phone log. It was, in fact, the Greenfield Police Department's number. Then, Lucky says, she was transferred to others, claiming to be government officials. Where are your bank accounts? How much money are in each account, approximately? They wanted her to withdraw money from her bank and store it on gift cards. Now, listen to me very carefully. So the card you have to get that's called as a target gift card. You have to get two target gift cards of $1,000 each. So I don't really understand what's so happening. I understand, ma'am. The thing is, ma'am, the investigation is under Privacy Act of 1986. And if you talk to someone that sounds like you're giving hints to the criminals. Even urging her to lie to anyone questioning her actions. They may try to ask you that if you have received a call from Social Security or something, to get a reward, right? So do not let them know anything. Simply say, no, you're buying it for your personal use. You want to gift it to your, your daughter. She's moving to a different state. To be clear, Lucky never did anything the callers asked. I think it's just really disgusting and disgraceful that people do this. I wanted to show that uh, these people will go to great lengths in order to um, get your money. Even though one of the callers allegedly impersonated a Greenfield police officer, a detective told me many of these calls often originate out of the United States. So the department does not have the resources to locate or charge anyone from overseas. I'm consumer investigator Kristen Byrne.